Uh, shit. Butterfly turned the TV up. Carrie, you want me to make you one? No, I'm not with my medicine. I'm just with butter. Right. Thank you. Cool. Are you still coming up on Monday? Oh, yeah. Maybe. I'll let you know. Probably so though. You just like to see Doc. Cause Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Shrek is... I don't know what this name. Have you, you seen that before? Thoughts? Yeah. Alright. Do you want anything else you got from the convention you know show like today? Um no. Doc, tell me when. Tonight. Tell me when. It's good. So you remember how I was talking about the gummy bears in your guys' room? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Right. Lorraine, tell me when. Okay, we're live! <laughs> All right. After much uh, technical issues, um, we actually have a monitor in our hotel room that is... Uh, is a monitor and not a TV, so we can't actually have a, a. We can't actually stream through the PlayStation, so. Sheridan, you're fucking up. Yes, yes, Sheridan is screwing that shit up. I cannot see the chat in here, unfortunately, but I do see, I do see us. Uh, so, for those of you that are watching, uh, these are not adult beverages. <laughs> yeah, there was no. <laughs> Not adult beverages. Uh, we're coming to you live from the second night of PAX Prime here in Seattle, Washington, uh, uh, where the current temperature is. Uh, I don't fucking know. And um, we are on the 26th floor. We're on the 26th floor of uh, uh, the Union Tower of the Sheridan Hotel just down the street from... Um, the convention center uh, today actually was a really packed day uh, on the floor the, the MVPs were everywhere uh, doing our thing um, there was no uh, Drew's Day sightings um, uh, because if you guys don't know about Drew's Days he got beat really bad when he thought he was really good at Uncharted multiplayer and it shamed him so he has never returned to the realm of gaming um, so if you guys find Drew's days on Twitter you should ask him tell him Doc sent you and you know it's just it's just sad that he got shamed so bad but so sad so sad I think he skates now or something on like a plastic Kmart skateboarder yeah he's like one of those popular skaters you know does his thing so we're going to talk about a little bit what was on the show floor. This is my buddy Treasy from Junkie Monkeys. And uh, he's going to provide our opposing view for what was on the floor today. Now, to start it off, we're going to talk about Xbox. Okay, moving on. So now we're going to cover what Sony was doing. Because Xbox is garbage. Um, everybody knows the dudes with the big man parts have <laughs> PlayStations. Can I say cock on this? I don't. I don't cock me. It's, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I can say that. It's cock is more vulgar. If you say cock me, you're referring to eating rooster meat. On right. The right. Arms. Like a drumstick. Yeah. 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 Shrek is life. Shrek is love. <laughs> <laughs> rooster. I wish I knew you had a reference. Maybe you got that. You need to learn. We have Lorraine in the house. We have a house full of people. We, we have so many people here yeah, right what now. What you can't see is all the people behind. It's a, it's a <laughs> packed crowd. Um, so, the first first thing that was up uh, for me today was we went over and played a little more uh, uh, Blood Rain. Blood Rain. <laughs> Bloodborne. Thanks. Blood Rain. Blood Rain. Stop. Everyone stopped playing it about 10 years ago. Um, she took two... <laughs> She took who drank all the rum. <laughs> Why is the rum always gone? <laughs> Blood, Bloodborne. Tree, did you get a did you get a chance to play Bloodborne today? And Bloodborne. Oh yes. What did you think about that? Well, I um, 
I immediately got to go. Okay, in. moving on. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about that? I like it, man. Um, if you enjoy Demon Souls, it's definitely going to be the next big thing out of uh, Sony Japan and from. Um, I'm assuming we're still on talking to the blank screen. Yeah, um, yeah. If you enjoy Demon Souls, you're going to love it. Um, there's somewhat similar mechanics there. Uh, but I do like how you get uh, to bypass certain enemies and you get to belch in their face and <laughs> cause chaos and madness. It's a great game, though. It's uh, in a nutshell. The boss is hard, so I haven't beat it. Played it four times, made it to him three times. One time it actually glitched out. I kid you not. It was invisible. It was crazy. And the guy must have felt bad for me and let me hold the replica shit. So uh, it was cool, though. I mean, you'll love it. You'll love it. For those of you uh, uh, hardcore old school anime people, uh, Bloodborne has a real uh, semblance to Vampire Hunter D. I mean, for those of you that are really into Vampire Hunter D, like I was, um, it's it's actually it's everything you wanted from the Vampire Hunter D series to be able to play, uh, and that was that was really exciting for me. We played those on whether they have four K TVs. Really? It, were they four K? I think I think they were. I know at E three they were four K, so I don't know. That's like 20k to one at E3. That thing was, <laughs> that <laughs> was ridiculous. It was madness. Um, so yeah, the the lifelike symbol symbolism was was symbolism. I want I meant to say symbolism. Symbolism. <laughs> Sim what is the symbolism? There's no symbols in there. Uh, and for those of you that saw it at E3, um, the engine the engine is great. The the there's really no lag in the background animation. And from the foreground to the background, there's really no lag. A few camera issues though, like um, if you're if you're locked onto an enemy, and let's say you're trying to dodge real quick, you you might sometimes catch a wall and not see what's going on, and you could get attacked by the enemy at that at that point. So like right now, it's pretty much it. You're gonna have to pick and choose how you do it. Um, if you're face forward. Lock on. I mean, just like in bed, you want to lock on, face forward. But if it's behind, you can free free roam. You know, so <laughs> the lock on feature by pushing the uh, uh, R three is actually a uh, uh, <coughs> is is a great feature because there's a lot of people at the booth you could see that didn't know about this feature, so they were shooting their firearm and they were just shooting random shots at odd angles and not really contacting with uh, with the enemies. Now here at here at, at PAX this year, what we did, what we saw, which we didn't see at E3, was now we saw the blunderbuss and the um, the sickle. Yeah. And it would you could switch it back and forth from long to to short. Here you could actually use a, a pole axe and a pistol. And the great thing is when you transformed your pole axe, it went from a hand axe to an actual large pole axe. Which, when locked on in a group, you could actually do some whirling dervishes and uh, do multiple amounts of damage. Um, the demo was pretty short. Yeah, well, if you died, you didn't make it to the boss. Huh? Right, right. Okay. Um, it was short for him. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard. It's hard. Two hits, wrong move, you'll die. It, like it wasn't stuff. short for me, I'm just saying. Well, one thing, uh, one thing I noticed from this demo is... Um, is nobody cares. Exactly. No, everyone cares. You no. saw the line, bro? You saw the line. Shrek is live, Shrek is live. <laughs> Let's give you the, the cut off. Shrek is live, Shrek is live. Um, so that actually, and I really hope that, I have high hopes for this game, because what they're showing us now is actual is actual gameplay. So they have to, if they stay on this path, they're really going to have a visually amazing game. What the story is and be character driven has is really a mystery at this point because it that remains to be seen. But visually and gameplay, they're on the right track to, oh, yeah. to have a, to have a great game. Looks great. So yeah, uh, Bloodborne is is looks great. Now the order. Did you did you get some order action today? Uh, I got order action a couple months ago at E3. It's the same demo. So, mm -hmm. but the the swag's different. They give you the little mustache. You see, I didn't get that. So I got the shirt from. Pre-ordering at Amazon. Thanks again, Sony. <laughs> the demographic has changed for uh, um, for packs where no longer gone or apparent gone. Apparently, are the days where uh, swag was free and all over the place. Yeah. Um, now it's just you have to buy. You have to buy shit and uh, um, pre-order. Right, right. Which Sony's gonna wonder why a million 
cancellations happened. <laughs> what happened? It stopped streaming. Now he wants to push. Gone are the days when swag was free and <laughs> plentiful. Exactly. Now you must fight to the death. Well, we're getting some technical issues here. So, are, can you hear us, or can you not? Where where do I do that at? Hey, tell Shane to send me this link too, so I can send it out. Yeah, and it takes me to our live stream, but I see no, ch I see nothing. How do I pause the? We've been talking for ten minutes. The stream. And no one heard. No one heard. I don't know. Um, maybe. There's no pause button in the bottom left corner. I'm looking at the broadcaster. Just like Bloodborne. Did I mess you up? No. Are you sure? I see it. I see it. I struggle. I see it. Uh-oh. Defy all odds. 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 No. So it's pretty much the same in here, guys. Yes, it's. Yo, Adrian is asleep. This is hilarious. Yeah, she was in the mini fridge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, Wednesday, the new logo's go-to rumors of fabulous Oz Ladder Wow. Parties that thrill. As secure. Serving small tweaks for Big Sheik. All new secret guide to fabulous. Premieres Wednesday at 11. Only logo. Now, stop the fucking video. Wow. Ladder. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Are we still streaming? That's funny. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the chat. Let me uh, tweet this out. So everyone can retweet it. Yeah, but nobody's chatting, so. Yeah, good. Alright, so where is the broadcaster? Yes, I can see. Alright, so I'm going to overlay this and then. Alright, cool. We're good. Cool. No, not overlay like you think. Okay, so I can see that. All right, back to work. All right, bye. What's the Okay. Technical issues, technical issues. Okay. Uh, all right, let's get back on track. So. We're still setting up. Can I assist you? No. You tried to last night and you fell asleep. Boom. So? Wow. I was trying to see what that was Here, you can watch in here. I won't watch. That's not what I said. Okay. Alright, so. Uh, this can't be edited. It's live. You can't control it. Fuck it, we'll do it live. So, uh, um, the order. For those of you who haven't seen the order, the order is a great mix of uh, um, of mysticism and magic uh, in in the eighteen hundred London, which uh, um, the the premise is great. It, it's visually amazing. Um, the only thing I could speak to this game that really shows what graphically what it what it's like is 
when your cutscene comes through and your cutscene ends, you don't realize that the cutscene has ended and the gameplay has started. Seamless transition. It is ridiculously flawless transition. And the only reason I knew it was time to start shooting is because I got shot. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's game time. <laughs> which was which was which was friggin' awesome. Um but it, we're, we're, it's actually, I think it's the same exact booth for me three. Really, they actually carried and recreated the same booth. I I think it's the exact same booth for for me three. Well, I was in the media room, so I didn't see the. Uh... But it's it's completely worth it's completely worth seeing. Um, the MVPs had we had early access to the order, and we had a lot of input on. Uh, um, I can't say exactly, but let's just say. Th- what you guys are gonna get in the store, we had a lot of input in, and what you're gonna what you're gonna see, but we can't tell you how, obviously, uh, due to the stack of paperwork from Sony that says they'll remove our testicles. But I didn't sign no paperwork, so here's what happens. You ready? Oh, they didn't kick us off air. Sorry, I thought we were gonna get kicked off air. Sony's like the Illuminati; they watch everything. Right, right. And especially with this guy. See that triangle? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Watch it. So you're going to tell what happened? No, bro. I don't know what happened. Oh. Fucking poser. <laughs> so. There was definitely a beginning and definitely an end. There was definitely an end. There was an end. Huh? There was a beginning and an end. And that beginning. <laughs> and that end. <laughs> no, you guys say like Bane. Oh yes, the beginning. The beginning was madness, but it rises like the fire. Oh yes, I remember the order, 1886. It was, it was delightful. That's not a word that's in my vocabulary. Hello, gaming since gaming. You really have been gaming since gaming, have you? You might have, but I was born in it. <laughs> molded by it. I've been gaming since I was in my daddy's testes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the order of... <laughs> The order is it's it's worth it. That's just pretty much the bottom line. Is it's it's worth it. And the best part about this year is we're getting a lot of things that are geared towards next gen. So we're seeing a lot of uh, um, a lot of the leaps that are happening from from PlayStation Three to PlayStation Four, um, and that's great because it, it makes a lot of things exciting. It, people are excited to play it. Um, I've been playing Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare for like the last week. Is that the sign that you need another drink? No, the sign he needs to drink his drink. The crowd here is like sipping their alcohol. Like there's adult beverages behind the monitor that you guys can't see. <laughs> I'm just savoring. Oh, it's okay. Oh, savoring. I don't know Oh, she's knocked out. She's she's knocked out. We have like people knocked out in the crowd right now. That's how entertaining. There's a lot of alcohol involved, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You want to give a? You might get a little promo for this. We'd like to thank the makers <laughs> of Sailor Sailor Jerry Rum. <laughs> Who drank all the rum? Uh, so can you? We're it's in the past now. <laughs> <laughs> we moved past that. Uh, <laughs> We've gone too far. There's no looking back. So the MVPs uh, and our our role is great because uh, um, I don't know how to say this without sounding. Um, without it sounding wrong, but we, uh, it's, it's a great thing that, that Sony affords us. We get to have this beautiful view out the window of the city of Seattle, um, in this beautiful suite, but, you know, we actually get first run on the floor at the products, which is great. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, we don't have to wait in line. We don't have to, we don't have to do anything. We just show up and, and start gaming. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, 
Bad Kitty said, oh, it's true. Doc's drinking. It's a lie. Doc, Doc broke 10 years of sobriety for tonight. Yeah, you I was only counting the dog years, though. Get some rocks. There you go. You want another one? Five. Oh, you want five? Jesus. You know I like five. There you go. How many is that? I think like five. They're a cracker. You can't even count. One, two, three. Yeah, it's five. Okay. Four and a half, maybe. Four. A couple are broken. Because <laughs> Adriana didn't want to get no more ice. Yeah, the over there Friggin sleeping staff on here's the, horrible. Sleeping on the job. Oh, wow, yeah. You heard that. Jedi. So, uh, moving on, what did we what did we move to next? Uh, the Shadow of Mordor. That's all you. Uh, the Shadow of Mordor. Uh, visually, it's 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 actually really nice. A lot of um, the area we were in was a lot of open fields, and you know a lot of uh, um, there was definitely not a lack of things to kill. <laughs> but the downside, the huge downside, is uh, um, is their tiered system. Of when you the, the figure you want to get to attack uh, is a general. Between the general, you have to go to one of his four lieutenants. Then each one of those four lieutenants has six under underlings, and those underlings you have to pick one of those and then move your way up the chain trying to kill these people, which takes an exorbitant amount of time, and um, it's really really convoluted. So. It wasn't. It wasn't for me at all. I mean, it, it looked great. I so love. It's not a day one buy for you. No, definitely not. Is definitely it a not. PS Plus free game? <laughs> yeah. If if it's if it's plus free, then then so I'm, no buy at all. For me, no. That's a that's that's a pass. That's a big pass. Um, if it was free, maybe. No. But uh, it looks great. There's there's a lot of things to kill. But uh, yeah, it's it's really convoluted. So the at the. At the I had to pass with that one. So um, I know we should talk about something that was not on the show floor. That we got in. Ah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, so go yeah. ahead. All right. So. Uh, okay, moving on. Yeah. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so on the show floor, I was expecting to see Mortal Kombat 10. It was not there. Nope. But uh, thanks to uh, Malik from Nerdist. We found out that there was a private, off the chart Mortal Kombat demo being right displayed. here, hidden in this hotel. In this room. hotel room, actually, <laughs> yeah, in some little uh, room, and uh, we got to play it. We got to play uh, who we had: uh, so, uh, Sub Zero, oh, uh, 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 Raiden, the new Khan, Kano, and uh, yeah, the new Khan, who may be from the past or the future, but it is pretty unique there's a uh, there's now like a, uh, a, a a stamina bar for dashing backwards like a dash right. meter Back and dash. Uh, it, it's gonna change up the way the the whole if you played mk9 like traversing around people is is changed dramatically you can press r1 to jump over a tree stump now and get behind somebody who might be fucking you up in a combo uh the the x-rays or brutal <laughs> crazy <laughs> brutal <laughs> they're so brutal and uh the graphics are amazing like uh it's a complete overhaul from mk9 so if you loved mk9 yeah there was yeah well, bad kitty there was no mk on the floor but we got to play it um, yes yeah it wasn't on the floor but we got to the secret location to actually play it and uh, uh i ate all their cookies <laughs> because they had free cookies i still have their water yeah, yeah we had, we got I had a sip of that water. <laughs> Expensive water. But, uh, uh... Whoa. What's going on? I said wrong channel, ignore that. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, so we got to it, we played it, it was amazing. Um, they couldn't tell me what the, what the refresh rate was on the TVs. So, I mean, that's a fail on theirs, par for PR people, because they should be like, yeah, this... Because we're playing PlayStation 4, of course. Yeah. And uh, um, but they they're like, oh yeah, well, I don't know what this TV, I don't know what the refresh rate is. I mean, if you're gonna be selling this game, you need to tell people, you know, just how many ohms. This is the lag. This is the refresh rate. Yeah, but it's early, and they they play on like monitors, you know, PC. That's no fucking excuse. I mean, That's no excuse. It's early, man. That's probably why I was on the floor because 
shit like that. They, they don't have the they don't have the answers, Doc. Right. They don't have the answers. Kanye. Who's that? I said Kanye. Who's Kanye? Uh, that was the reference source. Kanye? No, who's what? Of Kanye course it was. So we're taking okay. questions from the peanut gallery over here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. What is your question? <laughs> Well, I thought that was a Kanye re- reference, and I was just questioning. Oh, oh you're referencing Kanye? Yeah. No, I have I have morals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna reference that piece of shit. Damn. He's like, I'm a genius. You don't understand me. No, you, nobody gives a fuck. But he is a genius, bro. In his own world. Shut the fuck up. Anyways, so moving on to the Lord, new Check Laura Croft life. game. Uh, it was the. I gotta Google because I forgot it's the Osiris game, Laura Croft. Uh, it's uh, the sequel to Guardian of Light or the. What is it called? If any guys Guardian. played Guardian of Light, which was top down, um, it was actually pretty. Uh, uh, it was pretty interesting. But this is the continuation of, of that. Is it really? Yeah, it is. You should have like a, a button to say. With the little cat hanging on, hang on, hang in there. We'll be right back. Exactly. The, uh, Laura Croft and the Temple of Osiris, and uh, this is a four-person, four-person on the same screen fighting game. You uh, um, can you can be Laura Croft. You can be this other um, up-and-coming archaeologist who looks like Samuel L. Um, you can be uh, Osiris uh, himself, or you can be another Egyptian uh, uh, goddess. And each, each, um, uh, oh, they utilize Twitch's yeah, word filter. Yeah, first gaming, sit gaming. Oh. Can't say words like fuck shit, ass, damn, cunt. Cunt fucker. Um, shirk is live, shirk is live. <laughs> that should be sense. So, uh, it's not one of these four, pe- four person on a, um, on one screen where one person can dominate, you know, and just run off um, and do what they want. They actually force you to work as a team um, to solve s- different puzzles because of the different types of powers that uh, um, that each character has. Like two, pa- two can grapple. They can grapple across gaps, but then um, the other people have to hop on the grapple and run across. Right, and then the, then they can grapple themselves back for you. You have to use your special powers to, to move on. Um, but uh, um, yeah, it was it was it was the graphics weren't hard hardcore. Um, the it was the it was the not the stop motion, but you know that that two D when they use the two D animation and maybe like the arm will move, it just moves a different way. You know how? Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a word for that type of animation. Oh, this- uh, is it like simulated 3D in a sense where it looks 3D yeah. but like LBP kind of? And there, there's this game back on PlayStation 1 that was really, uh, it was really a hidden gem. And it was a Pitfall game, right? It was called uh, Pitfall Through Time or it was Pitfall 3D. Anyways, Pitfall Harry is voiced by Bruce Campbell in this game. And, uh, um, and it's pretty damn funny. And it's so funny because the, the art from this looks like the art from PlayStation 1, which was ahead of its time to begin with anyways. So if you get a chance to try out uh, Laura Croft and Temple of Osiris, absolutely, man. It's absolutely worth, especially if you can play with, with three other people. Because even if you don't know what's going on, it takes a short time to, uh, to figure it out. And it's definitely worth your time. So, uh, what else What else did you play, Treasy? Um, uh, well, I didn't get to play it yet, but I, I do want to touch uh, Hotline Miami 2. Wrong number. I think that's garbage, dude. You're fucking high. Why is it garbage? Because it's... It, I don't know. I don't, I don't see a lot of... How much have you played? I just I just played a little bit, but uh, I don't... How much have you played? Uh, what do you want me to measure it to? To uh, the time that you started to finish. Oh, um, I started, and then I was like, fuck this. Yeah, so that's why you, yeah, you're, you're irrelevant. <laughs> The You're game, irrelevant. the game didn't have enough, didn't have enough graphics for me. It oh, just, oh, it's not supposed. I, to. I know, I know, it's not supposed to, but yeah, it was F just, it was game. just hard. It was hard to get into. Be, because you you played Hotline Miami. Yeah. So you didn't like it. No. Why not? Because of the graphics. 
No, no, no. It's not much. You can't, you can't go back in time. And <laughs> days. I mean, you grew up in that era, Doug. I mean, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say back then? Oh, man. You know, you know, back then, it's kind of like, uh, you know, shout out to, uh, to Tony um, from uh, Coalition now. He's, they switched sides, you know. And uh, <laughs> they, uh, he, I was listening to his podcast, and he mentioned, he said back in the day, when you had like a, a badass game like Doom or something, you saw the art on the cover. You didn't really get all the details, but right. like you would see that art, and then you play the game. You're like, "Whoa, shit!" It could be a little dot or something. And that's exactly how I that's felt. Coke. It wouldn't be a say, "All right, oh, well, we're out, bro." Coke. Okay. Oh, this Coke. Oh. <laughs> right at the, right the other yay, baby. That's good. That's good. God damn. Yeah, um, slow. But uh, yeah, man, like back in the day, it used to be just a little dot. You'd be like, oh, that's a old human being. You see his face and the, all his features, and now you can't go back and appreciate it, Doc. What's wrong with you, man? We got time. Uh, we ain't oh, got man. time for what's wrong with me. Um, yeah, no. so if you get a chance to play Hot, Hotline Miami, let's go play something else. No. Well, what about uh, Smash? Uh, Serena, can you give me that bag? Smash Brothers? Yeah, I want to show. Oh yeah, here we go. At Smash Day, if you won. Well, no, if you won, you got this premium red tile. You got the red tile. Yeah. I'll show it off. So Serena here, who doesn't you want to say hi? Yeah, show her face. Wanna wave, yeah. yeah Serena. The champion. Serena was the champ. Did she whoop your ass? Actually, Larray <laughs> lost every game. He didn't even win a, a training match. But there she is, the winner. They give you these these dope red tiles if you win. Awesome. Serena won. She cheated. She was a little this back. This towel is so dope. It looks like every other fucking white towel in existence. Yeah, but it's got the Smash Bros logo on it. This one looks like he wiped his butt with it. <laughs> At least we could have cleaned the sheets with it with all that diarrhea on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Go ahead and tell us about that. Oh, Smash Bros is awesome. If you love Smash Bros GameCube... Um, I think the new Wii Wii U is supposed to have the. You, they already have the ports for the GameCube controller, don't they? Not yet, but like. Oh, but the new ones. Yeah. They announced it and everything. Oh man, it's perfect. Oh, nice. did they announce it? Well, yes. Yeah. For what was the announcement? What was the, the adapter? The, the yeah. adapter for the controllers for the GameCube. Yeah. They, yeah, they announced it for the Wii U like, I don't know, like a month or two ago. It's available now? No, it's not. No, but it will be when Smash releases. That's going to be awesome. awesome. That, hey, you think that's why they, they pushed Smash back for the console release? Maybe? They probably... That, that because makes sense. it's on 3DS that first. Makes complete sense. That might be. That it. would make sense. They're like, well, we're going to release it at the same time as this because... But the 3DS version looks like shit. Yeah, don't it does. Touch it, don't even look I, I am getting it because that's all I have at the moment. So. I pray for you, man. You don't have a Wii U, dude. I don't, but I'm about exactly. to. Exactly. I'm about to. Talking that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Talking that truth. Talking that shit. Talking that truth. So, yes, in Smash Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> what about the bunny game you played today? Oh. Well, what buddy game? I don't even remember. I got a comic for it. It's in the bag. I can't remember what it was called, but it, it was all right. Like the humor is, like, you'd like it. It's a lot of '80s humor in it. Like uh, actually, then uh, Carrie, there was a, like a Doctor Who reference in there. What? Yeah, there was. Uh, uh, Bad Kitty. I did not see any Bayonetta. I. But, mm -hmm. but, but, but. I saw some Bayonetta. You saw some Bayonetta. Come here. You gotta come over here now. Gotta get him. Yeah. Larray from Next Level. Shit. Huh? Let me get the seat. Oh, he can he can stand. He can stand. <laughs> <laughs> so, fucking don't want to give up his seat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so Bayonetta, um, the action is over the top because it's you know developed by Japanese. Um, it's more over the top. Um, the action is fast paced, and you um, the battles are more gigantic. And see, some is this the giant, this <laughs> giant hair monster which he used. <laughs> well, like, all I'm gonna say is the battles are faster, bigger, and more, more dynamic. So Excellent. You're gonna enjoy it. Thank you for your report. <laughs> Back to the fat cave. <laughs> 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 no fat cave. Trademark pending. Yeah, oh, yeah trademark pending. The fat, fat cave. cave. Yeah. What the hell? You know, instead of going to the back cave, you go to the fat cave when you got. Uh, you know, rub well, one out. After the stream's over, I want you to go to Google and I want you to look up Shrek is Life. 
Shrek is love. Shrek is love. What? Shrek is love. Shrek is love. Oh, Shrek, Shrek is love. Shrek, Shrek is right, love. Right, Shrek, Shrek is life. It's like pride dog. There's, there's a hashtag. It's actually a hashtag on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, they trending. I think it already was trending at some point. Shrek, Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell him Doc sent you. <laughs> it's never ogre. <laughs> so I don't. I have never watched this, and I found this one. This is my swan. Got <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> you have another stain on the bed. <laughs> you have some more ogre love stains. On the That's what you fight for. <laughs> So, uh, oh I can't even remember what the hell the last thing I played today was. Jeez. Mm. Uh, we went to the double fine panel after that. You go to, you went to a panel today. Tell us about that. We didn't go to the panel. We went to an autograph signing. So he went to an KG, autograph signing. Yeah, KG uh, Inafune, uh, Mega Man creator. We got a couple of things signed. I got Soul Sacrifice signed. Serena got Soul Sacrifice signed. Adriana got metal. Um, what was it? Mega Man X. Yeah, Mega Man X. Yeah. What? Was it ten? Was it just yeah, it was Mega, Mega Man X. X. What's X? Nine, seven, three. No, thirteen. Thirteen. Mega Man. Mega Man X X X. No, there was a Mega Man X. Oh, no, oh, are you talking about for the PS2? No. Wait, are you talking about Mega Man Triple X? <laughs> 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 Generate Degeneration X. <laughs> exactly. Mega yeah, Man Degeneration X. You can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Start playing the music. Yeah, it was cool. I mean, we didn't get to go to, we went to go to the Naughty Dog panel, which I really, well, not Naughty Dog, it was a bunch of them, and I think they were talking about, like, combat design or something. I missed right. out. Um, Jeff Negus was telling me about it, but, um, yeah, what's the, what's the name of the best uh, pizza in Seattle? Game Over Greggy wants to know. Mario's. Yeah, Big Mario's Pizza. <laughs> Big Mario's, hands down. Wait, was that from that, um, by the Evil Win? No. No. Because that person was named Mario. Big Mario's is in Capitol Hill. Take me there. So one There's person was named Mario. Down there too, though, when they're, I the, they're the false Mario. <laughs> Beware the false Mario. I have them. It's the Wario of pizzas. Wario. <laughs> Wario <of> pizza. <laughs> Arkham Knight, Tomb Raider for Xbox One only, and that Saints Row Four goes to hell. Um. Wait, Saints Row Four already came out though. Arkham Knight, yeah. Tomb Raider for Xbox only. Um, you are an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Man. That's me. There was a tour, though. A tour bus for them. I think they were going to take them to, like, the band town. Ooh. Oh, oh, shout out to Eric from Naughty Dog. Happy birthday. Oh, Eric Monticelli. Happy birthday, man. Um, Happy birthday. Shout out to your mom and dad for getting it done. <laughs> because without that, we couldn't have you. Just saying. I forgot it was Eric's birthday. Uh, yeah. I don't even think he came out here. He's usually out here. Him and Arnie Meyer are usually out here. And Shout out to show. Arnie. Um, I did run to Jeff. I, I haven't run to Kurt, though. I know Kurt was out yeah, here. Yeah, we, we just saw about the evil uh, uh, the evil inside part. Or evil within yeah, part. Tell, talk about your evil inside. <laughs> the evil inside your anus. <laughs> the evil within your anus. What the hell is that name again? Is that game again? I'm just, I'm, I've had too much rum. You need more. Don't drink. What's the name of that game? The Evil Within. The yeah, Evil Within. Yeah, that was the name of that. <laughs> The Evil Within your anus, bro. I mean. <laughs> uh, so. That was after all the eggs they served at the Okay, yeah. So, okay. So, the Evil Within party is downtown Seattle. And the line for this literally stretches around a city block. <laughs> and uh, I, just, I just burped the meatballs we had there. Yeah, that was the food. Bovice said it was horrible. Um, I think the meatballs were actual balls. Wow. And uh, oh, someone wants to know your website, Treasy. Uh, uh, JunkieMonkeys.com. That's JunkieMonkeys.com for for Treasy. Our heroin apes, for short. <laughs> so 
<clears throat> the Evil Within party. The line stretched around. They they sent out what they send out like two I, three thousand invitations. Oh yeah, I think uh, you still have the invitation. The invitations were cool though. Do, like, do we have an invitation for the Evil Within party? They were they were cool. Like they we had, should have one around here somewhere. You put it up to light. It's kind of like you go to the, the yeah. There yeah, we go. You go to the dentist and like. You get that little... That's like the only x-ray you've ever had. Yeah, that's the only x-ray. I've never broken a bone, never had to get... So they were handing x-rays. out these these films that look like x-rays. And I'm not thinking... Yeah, wow. so, uh, yeah. Blinded by the lie. Wrapped up like a douche. douche. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's deuce, though, isn't it? I, I think he says douche. Yeah, it sounds like douche. So it's an x-ray of a, of a, of a skull, and you can see the bob wire <laughs> within... Uh, I had to take it. Hey, Whatever. <laughs> Why'd you just fucking clean this room? Are you serious? What did you think of the game? What did I think of the game? We'll get Evil to that in a minute. <laughs> no, that's let's talk about another scary game. Um, that's kind of corny but interesting. It's um, Until Dawn. We haven't even got shit. You hold on to that. <laughs> I wanna. So about the zombie game you messed up in the elevator today, is it? Oh no! <laughs> just, just called it out. So the Evil Within party. Oh, you were there. They sent out <laughs> way more invitations than the place could could handle. It stretched around the city block, like it literally lapped the entrance door back around the city block and back to itself again. It was like the serpent eating itself. So it happens. And uh, uh, it starts from the anus. <laughs> and um, the human centipedes. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Yeah, so I'm trying to read. I'm trying to read. You imagine they were all human. Trying to read the comments. Trying to read the comments. I was part of that. So the the it was the VIPs. We didn't we didn't wait. We just went, did our thing. It's free booze, and uh, uh, it was great to see a lot of guys from Naughty Dog. Prodigy was there with his with his with his woman. Prodigy. Oh, shut up. I don't pay attention to that nerd shit. Cheers. Oh, uh, this is random. The crowd is going wild. <laughs> so, uh, um, it was great. It's in a, um, what was the name of that bar? It said Doc. That's what I was cool because it fucking it's said Doc. It's called Doc's Bar. Yeah, it's called Doc's Bar. I got tickets for free drinks. Wow. Wait, tickets? I get, I get no money from that. Tickets. Tickets. So, uh, uh, yeah, so the VIP section was great. They, you know, there was... Little hors d'oeuvres roll around. It was free booze of whatever you could want. And uh, uh, just about when you're about to go, hey, this was friggin' lame. Um, there's a haunted house kind of experience next door. And, uh, uh. Oh, here it is. Thank you. So, you went to that. It was weird because there was free food. And you go down, and it's kind of like some live action scenes from, uh, uh, from the game with the dude getting beat up and tore up and getting, uh, um, his legs ripped off and the dude getting beat with a hammer. Um, and then it's like you're going through this little haunted house thing and all of a sudden there's catering. It's like you just walk in this room and there's catering. And it's like, oh, people getting killed and there's meatballs and chicken. And it's like, uh, okay. Oh, that's where you think the meatballs and chicken came from. Exactly. The there's meatballs are garbage. The meatballs are freaking garbage. I don't know what those are made of, but the deviled eggs have been tearing up people since since they left there's multiple reports of the devil eggs releasing the odorific rectal gas <laughs> yes there's a victim over here <laughs> this is how the the last of us starts devil yeah devil, devil eggs, eggs not devil eggs look at that devil eggs, devil <laughs> eggs. Uh, so yeah, then you got your, you got your box head, and uh, um, the shirt was around here somewhere that you got. And the box heads were already being given out. Eh? Yeah, those are already being given out. And then you got an evil within shirt. Uh, uh, don't drink all the rum. Yeah, bro. Don't he, pour yourself another no, shot. No, don't, he, don't, don't he hesitate. never drinks. You might as well. Don't hesitate. It, it, this is his first alcoholic beverage, actually. Oh. Are you? Sorry, we don't have no gin and juice for you, but. <laughs> wow. Racist. Racist. Oh man. Look. Like you were gonna drink it if we had it. <laughs> Thank you very I, much. I, I would have, but like. So you got this shirt with a giant eyeball on the front, which is which is pretty sweet, and then uh, um. Oh, bro, you got me this shirt. Little evil thing. It's not oh, your size. What size is it? My size. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So I got. The, I can fit that, bro. 
Could you model this for us? No. Quit touching my boob. I, I, I'm, we're married. That's just legal. <laughs> <laughs> like I only had one hand free. <laughs> so, uh, uh, All this talk, and he's going to fall asleep on the bed. Probably. Not going to lie. I think we're all going to fall asleep. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, the, and that was a great. Uh, thank you, uh, um, Paul Sullivan. Uh, for for getting us into that in, into that party, but uh, uh, that was actually uh, pretty pretty swag uh, for the short time uh, that it was. I mean, these people that have to go around the whole city block to get in, I'd be mad as fuck. Dude. Remind me of that uh, GameWorks party back in the day, the uh, one Sega had. That's oh, right. all that drama was that? I left before it even started. I was like, fuck this shit. That was a good party. It was just drama. No, no, no. I was talking about the uh, Evil Within the, shit. The Evil Within, but the. Good if you got an enemy like you said. When, when was the last time they did the um they did the um Sega one? Like two thousand twelve? Sega twenty eleven. Sega Yeah. That's that's when they That shit was bomb much. though. They had free drinks. You were there too? Yeah. Wow. I mean, Lorraine's been all kind of places I've never met this cat. <laughs> so yeah, we was at the same place and we never met. Two times. Two times. Probably so, like both um, times. That's that's pretty much it for this day of uh, uh of PAX. Um there's what was the other one? I thank you. I will. I'm running this. This is my show. I call the shots. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So that was pretty much it for this day uh, at PAX for the MVPs. Um, tomorrow we have uh, Dead Island 2, which I'm really looking forward to. We're going to go over to, to, to check out Dead Island 2. And uh, um, then all the a MVPs are going to jump on Treasy's mom. Some people can't handle their alcohol. Zombie, zombies are in this season, so death, death, <laughs> death is only the beginning. <laughs> They're overdone, according to him. In the elevator. They are zombie games are done. Yeah, you missed it. So funny, most awkward kind of situation. We're getting <laughs> getting in the elevator. The Ray's like, "Oh yeah, I got a, uh, I got a meeting for Dead Island too," and I'm like, "Oh great, another zombie game." And then one of the women laughs, and then this guy turns around. He's from Undead Labs. And he's like, oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, but yours is all right. <laughs> Dude, yeah. they had these great H1, H, H1, uh, Z1 hats. Yeah. These ball hats. They're they're fitted. Fucking sweet, dude. Did you get one? 20 bucks. Fuck, man. What's all this mean? swag you got to buy now. It's like... It's, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Like, give us free shit. That's why we come here. God. We... <laughs> Why do we want to support you? <laughs> Why do we want to support your company? We want all the free shit. Let it all be free. Why would you support it when Day Z is coming out on the PS4? I'm being sarcastic. Too? No, no, no. I'm talking about like uh, peanut gallery again. Oh, you want me to convince you that Dead Island Two is a great expansion? That's what I feel. Gaming since gaming. So, so gaming since gaming. Do you know, I I can fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna convince you of shit. <laughs> it's not my job to convince you of shit. You go play the fucking game. You can stick a thumb up your fucking ass for all I care. I, th I think. Yeah. I think. Uh, for real? For real, bro. It's the booze talking. <laughs> Shane hasn't texted you yet and told you to shut up. I turned my phone upside down. <laughs> Dog is joking. Right, I see. Yeah, I was, I was joking. You don't have, you don't have to stick a thumb up your ass, but you can't fuck off though. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, it's not game. Dead Island Two is never gonna win Game of the Year. Dead Island Two is never gonna win Game of the Year. Let's just face it. If Dead Island Two wins the Game of the Year on any list, it's the Second Coming of Christ. And the real zombies are going to show up because it's just it's just a it's just a game to mess around with. There's nothing nothing major about it. But uh, uh, they they did change the uh, a lot of the game mechanisms, um, new weapons, which you really have to. Um, -na -na -na. Which you really have to. Uh, uh, oh. To uh, in that franchise. Was that the big pink you need power? If it ain't pink. Oh, oh, look. Oh, Gaby since gaming has jokes. I remember my first time drinking. <laughs> I remember my first time drinking, too. It was with your mother. I knew that was coming up. <laughs> Me, too. 
You, yeah, you couldn't see that one coming. <laughs> you can see it coming a mile away. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, so I'll report more on what uh, Dead Silver has. Okay. Dead Silver. Team Silver has going on tomorrow. Um, Did so. you say that comment because he's jealous that he doesn't get to do all this? Nah, he's just joking. Because Doc was telling him to fuck himself in the anus. I would, I would say something some, weird too. Some people like that. In this city, a in lot of people room, like maybe. that. The only reason people are like that <laughs> is, because, no. is because Shrek is love. <laughs> Shrek no. is love. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Either. You know where we're going tomorrow? Where are we going? The Rainbow. Oh, no, this unicorn. place there's this unicorn. This place called the Unicorn. They have a dildo toy machine. That sounded bad. Wow. Like the claw. Oh, really? We need to get a dildo bat like in Saints Row and be <laughs> 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 As if they have a dildo, that's what you should go go well, there. Do you have a dildo bat? Time. You walk down the street with in your boxes and say, Saints Row! Okay. Yeah, bam, cops so kill you. <laughs> Which will happen? No one's going to protest that. Oh, there's another Saints Row? Yes. You're talking about that Johnny Gat game? It's not a new Saints Row, is it? It's just another expansion. Well, it? like, someone was captured by the devil and was forced <laughs> to marry him. Gabe's just Gabe. Look, I looked up Shrek Love and some Japan porn came up. <laughs> <laughs> go on YouTube, type in Shrek is yeah, Love. Go, go to YouTube and sh- type in Shrek is Love and you will you will get to video, which doesn't belong on YouTube either. Gabe's just Gabe knows what's up. Gag goes to hell. Yeah, a guy goes to hell because one of his members is forced to marry the daughter of Santa, and he has to go down into hell to save him. That sounds like some bullshit. Yeah, it is a bullshit, but Saints Row has been bullshit since number three, so it's been Number three was actually kind of fun, though. Well, it's been fun, but it's bullshit. When they play that that Bonnie Tyler. I need a hero! So, all right, Cheesy. Yes. Tell us us more about what what you did today. Well, I played Bloodborne. I died. We covered that. You, you gotta speed up. I played Smash Bros. I got a towel. I played Mortal Kombat. We covered it. I drank some water. I drank some <laughs> water. Check his life. Um, what else did we do? I mean, mostly wait. Oh, we got to ride the uh, Sunset Overdrive bus today, which was pretty cool. It's all decked out. You can go on there. There's no way to die. I don't know where yeah. the power cord is. It's uh, in that box somewhere over there. Lorraine. I'm going to save the day. Save the day. Boy. That's what I'm saying. No, that's, oh, that's oh, what he just did to you. Oh, that's what he just did to you. I think I changed you out of my ice. Oh, that's my commandment. Oh, Look at the doctor make things racist. Oh, <laughs> boy. What's wrong with you, doc? Doc is racist. No. <laughs> That's racist. That's racist. <laughs> oh, today was a um, a very unofficial day at PAX, man. It's and it's mostly because we've seen a lot of this yeah. stuff at E3. Right, right. Um, right. The stuff I wanted to see. I mean, I had to see Mortal Kombat. Well, I still need to play Evolve though, fault. and I have two more I'm days. I'm actually more. really looking forward to Evolve, man. I want to play it. Everybody said it's dope, and I that's the one thing. I wish I had a big, giant house where I could stick that Name evolved the creature they have on the floor. Name the convention. I want to play evolved though. What do you want to play as the creature? Yeah. Why? I got eight motherfuckers. Did you go to? Uh, oh yeah. Speaking of creatures, did you play Alien Isolation again? Yeah, I'm a. Same demo from E3. Or? And this is the same demo from E3. Alien Isolation. Actually, if you guys haven't been following this, um, you should. You should be following it. Um, it t- it's a huge departure from the Alien franchise. Um, the last one, Colonial Marines, had all the potential, and I went to all the uh, panels and everything for it. Uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> Alien Girl Marine, jogging the truck, moving on. For real, <laughs> Colonial Marines. Colonial, oh, I thought you were calling Colonel Marines joking. <laughs> Col- <laughs> Colonial Marines uh, uh, had a lot of potential, but then they screwed the pooch on that, and uh, actually there was a lawsuit involved. You, you told me the story. That's an actually interesting story. You never told. It. I mean, you can derail a little bit because it is pretty interesting. Uh, the what Sega wanted 
from the developers and what they got was two different stories basically so they gave them a game and they're like this is what we didn't pay for and there was actually a couple of lawsuits back and forth between uh, um, the developers and and uh, uh, Sega and I thought that was pretty interesting because that was shows a huge power struggle and uh, um, that was pretty awesome but uh, anyways moving on alien, alien isolation it's it's no more you're really no longer um, just standing your ground with the alien and you know it's just down to firepower and and timing and getting stalked yeah you actually 